Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So it's been a while since we took a look back at a wonder of the ancient GPU world. I'm talking pre-DX11 cards. This HD 4770 here was the first 40 nanometer graphics card and one of the first to make use of GDDR5 memory. It launched in 2009 for about £85 or $109 and because we've never tested one I just wanted to see how it ran a few games. This is a $7 graphics card versus 7 games. The reason I used dollars in the title was simply because it sounded better than calling it a £6 graphics card versus 7 games. That then being a clue as to how much I paid for this old 512 megabyte component. So much like when I get behind the wheel in GTA, this card will flatten everything in its path, and by everything, I mean games that came out any time before 2005. The original Far Cry is a prime example of a flawless experience. You've probably noticed I'm rocking the old school resolution of 1280 by 1024 in keeping with the time period that this got released. Moreover, any attempt to switch to a modern aspect ratio just caused me huge amounts of grief. CSGO at this old school 4.3 or is it 5.4 aspect ratio also performed very well with over 100 FPS. The MSI afterburner FPS counter is also missing because of internal disagreements internal disagreements that took place within my PC case. The most important thing to note though is that this card will run at 100% usage almost all of the time and make a fair amount of noise while doing so. The legendary Call of Duty Black Ops also ran nicely with the normal settings. You may be waiting a while to play online these days but it's still just as much fun to jump into a bot match and see what sort of score you can get against a nearly hopeless AI. Even I can reach the top of the leaderboard here. Seriously, for me, this was Call of Duty at its best, as well as Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2, of course. GTA 4 is also worth mentioning, but oh my goodness, is it a mess. Medium, high, low, it doesn't really matter. The frame rate was completely unpredictable, but to be fair, it wasn't a total disaster. And 30 FPS was maintained most of the time. We even hit 60 on occasion. Going near the water seemed to be rather detrimental. I have re-downloaded Tomb Raider as well because it was free on Steam not too long ago and I think it still holds up. I've played through this one a couple of times and it's a great game that you can certainly lose a few hours to. It's also very smooth on the 4770 here and we hit just about 60 FPS on average. I think 59.9 was the official average but we'll keep that one just between us. I recently got into the Witcher games as well, the first ones in the series that is, and while the Witcher 2 won't run very well, the original is handled by the 4770 just fine, and will exceed 60 FPS at this resolution, with the high preset. Anti-aliasing was turned off for the sake of avoiding the smell of burning plastic. Unfortunately, the Witcher 3, which is also one of my favourites, won't run on this GPU. So finally, it's Skyrim. This is the legendary edition, the old version, not the new one. The new one won't run because I'm pretty certain it's DX11 only, but the old version will do just fine. And this is certainly still worth getting if you have a weaker PC or you just want to make use of some of those older and awesome mods out there. Lower settings will mean closer to 60 FPS, but I couldn't resist seeing what the card would make of the high preset, though anti-aliasing was off again. For any of you wondering how this card performed, well, there we have it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it down below, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I will see all of you possibly tomorrow, or the next day, or the next day, or the next day.